Hey everyone, welcome to my LEGO investing channel, Brick Dynasty. I've been investing in LEGO sets since about 2011 on and off, but in the past two and a half years, I've been seriously investing in LEGO sets. Today, I'm going to be going over every single LEGO Walmart exclusive set that's retiring in 2023. I'll be going over my thoughts on the set, as well as the price point I would buy each of these sets at for investing. The first set we're going to go over is a Jurassic World set. That is the Dominion Triceratops Dinosaur Pickup Truck Ambush. It is quite the mouthful. It is set number 76950. It is an MSRP of $49.99 and it was released in April of 2022, which makes it about a year and a half shelf life when it retires. This set is going on eBay when you go to Lois first for buy it now with a new condition for $36 and it has 68 sellers. So it's not overly hoarded um, at all. On walmart.com, it's often discounted to about $30, which is a pretty good discount of about 30%. Um, Lego in the past hadn't made that many dinosaurs. The only two themes I'm aware of was, I believe, the Dino series in 2011 and the Dino Attack theme from 2005. I actually invested in the Dino theme uh, back then, and those sets did really well for investing because there weren't that many dinosaurs available, so the uh, market wasn't that flooded. But now that Lego has been making these Jurassic World sets, Jurassic Park sets for like the past, I don't even know, five, six years. Maybe it's less than that. But the market's pretty flooded with these dinosaurs. And they're not as sought after. They're not as rare. So I haven't been investing much in these sets in general. Um, if this set wasn't discounted much until the end of the year to about $30, I may have considered picking some up because 30% off is not a bad price for an exclusive set that has a pretty nice dinosaur in it. Um, but since it's been discounted like that for a long time, I will not be investing in this set at that price point. I'll probably need about maybe a 50% off a discount to consider investing in this set. Next up is a Lego Icon set, the Galaxy Explorer set number 10497. This ha has an MSRP of $99.99. It was released in August of 2022, so it'll have about a year and a half shelf life. On eBay right now, the lowest price is about $80 with 97 sellers, so not too many on there, not super saturated. Um, Lego has been trying to reel back in a lot of adults that played with Lego back in the day by recreating some classic sets in a newer version, like the Lion Knight's Castle and the El Dorado Fortress. This Galaxy Explorer set was a recreation of a set from 1979. I'll throw up a picture here of what that looked like in the past. Um, this has worked out pretty well for Lego. I think the demand has been really high on these sets. People have loved them a lot. So I think the demand for the set in the aftermarket is going to be there. At the end of last year, though, it was discounted to about $75. I know a lot of investors picked it up there because it was a Walmart exclusive set and they didn't know how many discounts they'd be seeing. But then I think just a week later, it went down to $50. And at that price point, I think a ton of people will purchase the set. So at that point of the year, it was pretty over hoarded on eBay. The price had sunk in a lot, maybe down to $60 or so, I think. But now I think a lot of that stock has dried up. The price has gone back up to around $80, which isn't bad. And so this set isn't as over hoarded as I think people think it is. So if we see another discount of about $50 at the end of this year, I will be buying some. The demand for this set is going to be there in the aftermarket. It's very collectible and Lego is going to continue creating sets that they made in the past and bringing them back. So this is going to have a lot of collectability in the future. Next up, we have a Star Wars set that is the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama set number 75339. The set has an MSRP of $89.99. It was released in April of 2022, so it'll have about a year and a half shelf life when it retires. On eBay, the lowest price it's going for is $62. I'd like to see that price a little closer to MSRP, um, but when we pass that, we have three exclusive figures, including a really nice C-3PO figure with some nice arm printing. Um, I talked about this set extensively in my Star Wars Retiring Set series, um, I think my last video, and I really like this set for investing. This is one of the first three diorama sets for Star Wars that are retiring in 2023, and LEGO's made several more of these diorama sets. I think that Lego is going to continue to make them and people getting into this series after 2023 are going to want to buy this set. So this is going to have a great demand for years and years after it retires. I personally will be looking to buy this set for about 35% off is what I want to go for. On Walmart, it is typically discounted to about $72 all the time. 
So I'm really wanting to get under that buying price that other investors are probably buying at. So I want to be able to beat my competition and those are the Lego resellers. So if I want to be sure to make my money on the set, I need to get the price below where they're buying at. So 35% I think is easily doable on lego.com at the end of the year if they're running a gift with purchase with double VIP points and then using a cashback site like Rakuten or Honey, I can easily create a 35% discount for me on this set. Next is the Space Riot Amusement Truck. That is set number 60313. This is a Lego City set. It has an MSRP of $49.99 and was released in June of 2022. So like all the others, it'll have about a year and a half shelf life. On eBay right now, the lowest price it's going for is about $48 and it has 62 sellers. I typically don't invest in Lego City sets. Most of them don't really do that well for investing unless you buy them at a really deep discount. One exception I had to that recently was the Chicken Hen House, set number 60344. I purchased about 20 of these sets for an average buying price of $584 after taxes. And this has done pretty well. On eBay right now, it's going for about $20 and it was only retired last year. So the increase in price has been pretty good on this set considering the MSRP was $9.99. So that being said, I don't think that this set is going to do that well. Um, it's not a super popular set. I know some amusement ride sets have done well in the past, but I don't think this set is going to do well. I would need to see a 70% off discount during a Walmart in-store clearance to pick up this set. The last set we have is a 90 years of play set number 11021. This is a classic set. It has an MSRP of $49.99 and was released in May of 2022 making it have about a year and a half shelf life when retired. On eBay, the lowest price it's going for is $37 and has about 100 sellers. I, this is consistently discounted to $40. I typically don't invest in classic sets because there's not much um, collectability to them. There's no unique parts in general. This set is a little unique because it's branded as a 90th anniversary set and it has some cool mini builds of popular sets that you can build but there's really not any cool pieces that are collectible or unique to this set. So I will not be investing in a set unless it's on a super crazy discount for maybe 70% off, then I may purchase it. Even then I could pass it up. There's just not much demand for this set and no collectability to it. And that wraps up this video on the Walmart exclusive Lego sets that are retiring in 2023. If you found the information in this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. And I'll be releasing more LEGO investing content in the future. So if you want to see that, please be sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing a video over the Amazon and Barnes & Noble's exclusive sets that are retiring in 23. I'll be posting that shortly. And if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below. I'll try to respond to everyone. As always, my videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my journey with LEGO investing. I encourage you to do your own research before making any investment decisions.